and I'm here tonight to support Hull uh, in its civic commemoration of International Holocaust Memorial Day. Um, and I brought one of the uh, survivors, Dr. Martin Capel. We come from Leeds and we've got very close links with the University of Hull. Uh, and we're here to contribute to this evening's commemoration. Yeah, I think events like Holocaust Memorial Day are increasingly important as the time distance between when the Holocaust happened and now grow. I think so many people these days, um, the Holocaust is a, a dying memory. Those who have survived are increasingly passing away um, and people can't have a first-hand connection with the Holocaust. I think it's important from different perspectives. I think first of all, um, we want to remember those who perished, including my own grandparents, my two aunties. Uh, who perished in the Shoah and we want to remember all those, the six million Jews and five million other people who also perished as a result of uh, Hitler's regime. So I think we, we want to remember those who did die, who were murdered, but most importantly we want people to learn the lessons for the future because after liberation, when my father was liberated from Bergen-Belsen, everybody said, never again. But it, it did happen again, so we clearly didn't learn the lessons well enough. The Holocaust was of such global magnitude. People said at the time, it should never happen again. Unfortunately, more genocides are taking place around the world, different parts of the world, year in, year out. Even as we speak, even as we're recording this, thousands of people are being murdered uh, through genocidal regimes in the Sudan. So therefore the, the poignancy and the need for events like today when we remember all victims of all genocides are very important. In all the work I've been doing around Holocaust Memorial Day there's been fantastic engagement of young people because the issues that Jewish communities faced in the Nazi era they're similar issues of, of persecution, stereotyping, uh, bullying. The, these are all issues that need to be tackled today.